weeks. And Ashley, obviously a lot of the country is in the middle of a heat wave right now. Any relief ahead? Slight relief, relatively speaking, but for the most part, the triple digit days are just going to continue for us both here in Central Texas as well as the Brazos Valley, but also something that you're looking at with the seven day forecast rain chances for your Friday, Saturday. Better chances are going to be in the Brazos Valley ever throughout the weekend, but the more seasonable weather is going to take place and we could surely use it. We've been in that heat advisory since yesterday. All of Central Texas is included. That's not set to expire until later tonight as we're expecting another scorcher of a day and it is already starting out with a pretty toasty start to the morning upper 70s as you head out the door and because of that humidity we have all that moisture moving in from the south it's giving a little bit of a soupy feel as soon as you get outside definitely going to want to get in the car and crank that AC up 80 degrees right now if you're out the door in Waco 76 over in San Saba those are some of our cooler spots still a little bit above average however so here's what that day planner is going to look like sending those kids off to football practice going to want to definitely emphasize the need to stay hydrated today as we're going to be warm throughout the morning going to see an even hotter afternoon and it's going to be essential that you want to practice that heat safety for today as as well as the fire safety. Look how gusty these winds are going to be once again, and that's only going to amplify the fire threat that we have already been seeing all across central Texas. And of course, not only is the hot weather contributing to why we're seeing this increasing fire threat, but how dry we have been this year. This is the look at the current drought monitor across central Texas in the Brazos Valley. Extreme and exceptional drought has taken over most of central Texas with severe to moderate drought in many areas in the Brazos Valley. And unfortunately, over the last seven days, we really haven't picked up much of any rain. So once this new drought monitor comes out later today, it's likely not going to show a very pleasant picture. But for some of you guys here, this is something you definitely like to see rain chances. Once we get into your Friday afternoon, most of Central Texas, as you can see, remains on the drier end, however. But let's walk you through what that looks like. By the time you head home from work, may need to get those windshield wipers going because this is your look by the time we get into your Friday evening. Isolated rain chances at best areas east of I-35 as well as in the Brazos Valley. A couple more shots for showers by the time we get into your Friday night before we get back to a drier picture. Now Saturday, planning to be outdoors, maybe going for that pool day. It is going to be mostly dry, have a slight chance to see some showers as well, but for the most part, again, going to be on the drier side of things and unfortunately for that drought situation we're not picking up nearly as much rain as we need to make a dent in it higher rainfall totals off to the east however but a little bit of good news is temperatures are going to be slightly more seasonable through the weekend